open it up to questions for them on tonight's winner go over Stanford. Jalen, can you just talk about the atmosphere tonight? You guys have played in some pretty empty buildings for a little while, and this was a lot different than that. Yeah, I mean, there's a big lottery game, and the student session, the, the Golden Bear family in general just really came out and they had our backs. Um, there was a time they could have gave up on us when they had the little run, but the fans, I, I was telling the radio earlier, the, the fans were really on the side, man. Like, I missed the shot, they were cheering me on still. Like, like I loved it, man. I hopefully, hopefully they come out next home stretch we have against LA schools and just keep it going from there. Grant, what did you think? Because you were here last year when things were pretty grim. I mean, it, it was a great, great atmosphere. You know, I knew it was going to be packed because from the guys that told me a couple of years before when you know they had home games against Stanford during the semester, students were going to be there because you know last year we played in open break, it wasn't the same, but it was a great atmosphere, great win. You know, we're all we're all happy. How much of the win can you? I mean, you want to win any game, you want to beat Stanford any time, but to do it down the stretch without maybe your best player, with Jalen on the sideline, what, what did that mean to you guys going forward? It, it, it means a lot. I mean, him going down, you know, it's, it's definitely a huge loss. But you know, he he was still there with us in the game. He was, you know, talking us, talking us up, uh, with, with, with what he saw uh, from the sideline. That that helped us. Is you know, even you know, even with him not out there, and we're still the team. We can still get the job done. Yeah, for sure. Grant, Grant, double double. Is this um, one of the the games that'll stand out to you in your young career here at Cal so far? Yeah, I, I think so. I think for sure. This is for sure my best game of the season. I think like my third double double of my career. So I'm just definitely happy after this one. Jalen, uh, I think you went into halftime scoreless, and then yeah, I did. And, and <laughs> you remember that, huh? Yeah. And uh, and when, uh, especially when Jalen went out, uh, it looked like you took it upon yourself to uh, to let their offense run through you a little bit. Can you talk about that stretch? Um, it wasn't necessarily that run through me. It was just more. It was honestly a collective effort. Um, yeah, like obviously we lost one of the best scores in the country in JT, and now that's a big gap we need to fill. And I, I think it was a team, it was a collective effort. It wasn't just me. Um, so yeah, it was a good, it was a good team win, honestly. Yeah. All right, you guys were down by four at halftime. I'm sure there was conversation in the locker room, but you quickly got down by ten when the second half started. So what was going through your minds at that moment when you got down double digits quickly in the second half? Um, I think the collective message just we just need to rally together, get the fans back involved. Um, once we have that home court advantage, I feel like it's a big advantage for us. And then, yeah, like I said, just a team effort. We we could have folded, but we came together and really got the job done. So I'm really happy. I'm happy with our team. Hey, Grant, what, what did uh, Coach Madsen say to you guys after the game in the locker room? Uh, he was you know, just celebrating, it, telling us, you know, good win. But, you know, uh, we have a game Wednesday. So, you know, we just celebrate this one, have a good time. And tomorrow, turn the page, we're just not preparing for our next game. Jalen, yeah. he was slapping high fives with people in the stands. After, is his excitement still there after the game? Uh, Mark? Mark's? Madison's oh, yeah. He was, uh, Co Coach was very excited. Um, obviously, he went to Stanford, but he's a bear now, so. It's a great job for him, a good job, a good win for his record, and yeah, man, he's, he's very happy. Did he we dance for you guys again? We got a little dance out of him. <laughs> we got a little dance. Hopefully we can win some more games and get, give him a dance a little more. Jim Cohn was here Wednesday in the news conference right after the coach. Mm -hmm. We asked him if winning the game for coach because he going against his alma mater meant something to you guys. I think Jalen's response was it adds some spice to it. 100%. 100%. Uh, did you guys feel those spices or taste those spices? Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm. this is my fourth year here. I've been a part of the robbery during COVID, non-COVID. My senior, uh, my sophomore year was a senior night, so I've seen every part of the robbery. And then adding uh, Coach Madsen to it, it just, as Cohen said, it gave it a little bit, a little bit of spice. So, yeah, no, it was a great feeling to be for. For you, Jalen, I just know that you, I believe you sat out a whole year getting injury and everything, and redshirted, and kind of been flopping of our city injury wise. Just for you personally, kind of having gone through all that, how much does a win like this mean to you? To have this kind of moment for you, um, given the kind of battles you've gone through off the court, just injury wise and everything? This day, well, you know, like it could have went uh, a different way. Uh, some people have injury I got, and they're not able to play basketball anymore. So I'm just really thankful. It's thankful that God was on my side, man, honestly. You guys have been down eight to ten points in a lot of games and come back this year. Is it to the point now where you just you're not sweating it? You know you've done it before. You could do it again. Oh, 
sometimes just being down, like that happens, you know, it's not, it's not really planned, but you know, we know if we get ourselves in a hole, if it's eight points, 10 points, 20 points, we know we can dig ourselves out of it. So how do you guys feel that, you know, the eventual dissolving of this conference, but this rivalry will continue in the ACC. So how do you guys feel about that, knowing that you can have these Cal um, Stanford battles throughout the dissolving of the conference? It's a great feeling, I think. I think it's my CTV. Um, yeah, man, we're, we're motivated. They're staff. We don't like them. They don't really like us so much. It's a nice family, but a respectful robbery. So I'm happy he's going to continue. Hey, Grant, can you explain to us what happened in that play when uh, your face fouled the guy's <laughs> elbow? <laughs> um, I'm actually not sure. I mean, he, one thing I, I know about him is, you know, like, we played him last year, and there was a play somewhere like that where he elbowed me in the face, and they called a foul on me. So like I, I knew that. Let me try to get let me try to get close and see if I can sell it a little bit. And they said it was a the rest said it was a cylinder foul. Said I was too close to him and they gave the, gave it on me. But you know, I, I don't understand it. But you know, game's over. We won it. So I'm on to the next. Jalen Grant, thank you. Thank you guys.